Summers. I recently saw that Tim Dillon interviewed J.D. Vance on his channel. And uh, I thought, well, maybe I'll take a look at it. And basically, I couldn't bear to listen to J.D. Vance. So what they I read the transcript and what they were talking about was making fun of Kamala's laugh, making fun of uh, um, Waltz, Tim Waltz for calling him a Forrest Gump of the military. And then they got down to Biden, who they called a doddering old man, which is such hypocrisy, seeing as how Trump is even worse than Biden. He can't put any sentences together to save his life. Plus, he's just crazy. So I thought about it, and um, I don't really like to get knee deep in all this uh, poo poo. And um, I picked up a book. Of course, my books are my saving grace. And, and again, Maso chewed a little bit off the corner of the book. And um, I think we should all strive to be a force for good, even though there's so many things that are annoying about the world, the thinking of the world, the world in general. And um, as I have said many times, we need to uh, get away from it by meditation, by going deep within ourselves. But I still can't let go of the cruelty of the Trump campaign. Cruel. Cruel. And so I picked up the book, A Force for Good, and I was an, amazed by, uh, well, the author is Daniel Goleman, who is a meditator, worked with Ram Dass for many years, and he had written the book, Emotional Intelligence, which was something we all need to look inside ourselves for emotional intelligence. Are we looking at things the way we can that purifies our souls. Uh, and also, recently, we had a discussion about Angela Mears with her father, John. And the thing about that is her book has a very intense penetrating influence on me because the words pure love is what happens when we die so why wait until we die to feel pure love well there's no way of feeling any kind of pure love by watching donald trump on at madison square garbage <laughs> the other night and so um i i'm picking up this book um there's so many things that we can implement into our lives to be and also to work in a in a enlightened society to bring these things about so the guiding force of all of this is compassion but i think the guiding force is pure love you have to go beyond everything to get to pure love and john has been sending me things that angela has been imparting to him and they're very very beautiful so when we John and I get together again, he will tell us and read to us some of the things that she has put forth into his heart. And what ha she has put into his heart has gone into my heart. And those who read the book, I'm sure um, it has gone into their heart too. The, the book is called Pure Love. And uh, it is uh, quite remarkable because it's remarkable because we can all have insights that lead beyond the world of cruelty and hate. And uh, so the power to improve ourselves is not only personal, but it's global. So as I just said, we have to realize that it's not just an inside job, but whatever we do within radiates out to the world. And the next thing that the Dalai Lama has imparted to Daniel is uh, ethics and economics. So the importance of creating an economy driven by ethics rather than greed. And our politics up until this point has been operating from greed, 
we need to turn that around and go with the, take a high moral ground and that would be ethics morality the Dalai Lama advocates for a shift in business practices pushing for companies to prioritize people and the planet over profit he also highlights the role of wealthier nations in supporting poorer ones to reduce global inequality. He says we have an environmental responsibility. And in fact, I recently purchased something that hasn't yet arrived um, that will encourage me to eat more, more greens and vegetables, vegetables, greens, and fruits and the waste of those things go into this receptacle a composting receptacle which will create dirt for my garden out here i need to uh, get m new dirt in there and uh, so it's i think it's called a luma and i i think that by buying this thing has helped me to take an, a step in the right direction with composting composting in my kitchen also it will encourage me to eat more greens and more vegetables so so um a significant approach that dalai lama takes is is, is uh, environmental stewardship he says he urges individuals governments and corporations to acknowledge their role in environmental De degradation and to take immediate action towards sustainability he emphasizes interdependence how we are all related we are all one she shows how local actions have global right repercussions the role of education is very important to the dalai lama and should be for all of us he believes that education should promote inner values like empathy and resilience alongside economic accomplishment and knowledge. He believes by educating young people on emotional and social intelligence, he suggests we can cultivate a future generation capable of solving complex world problems with compassion, not with hate, not with uh, animosity. He believes that inner transformation has to happen for outer change so we work on ourselves first and foremost personal growth is key to broader social and global transformation the Dalai Lama encourages practices such as mindfulness and living in the present moment meditation emotional awareness being awake and aware of all your thoughts and all your feelings which he believes leads to healthier interactions and communities he also is a proponent of peace. Peace of mind begins within. He, advoca he advocates for dialogue as a means to resolve conflicts. He stresses that sustainable peace comes from understanding and respect rather than dominance or force. So it is my feeling that the old paradigms are falling away and we are about to bridge a long, a very long gap in lack of emotional intelligence. I mean, we are about to, to change, everything's about to change. The paradigms of the old world, of greed, competition, um, accumulation of wealth that is not sustainable um, it's not a bad idea to have wealth to give it away so the Dalai Lama's vision is both ambition ambitious and accessible he believes that if individuals har harness compassion live ethically and strive for sustainable practices society can be a force for good thus the name of the book goldman's writing complements these ideas with examples from modern science 
and real life stories, offering readers a roadmap for a more compassionate, responsible, and interconnected world. So that is what I'm going to be concentrating on, as well as pure love. Take a look over here. There's going to be a video that shows up and make a comment below and um, I'll see you tomorrow.